lovely YouTubers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. Coming today with a new video that's all about stop hiding, okay? So if you don't know, I speak on faith, fashion, and fearlessness every single week here on my YouTube channel, as well as I have a ministry called hisdaughterscloset.com to just uplift and empower you, okay? So anyways, let's get into this video because girl, it is time to stop hiding. You may say, Morgan, what are you talking about? I'm not hiding. A lot of us hide our gifts. We hide our desires, our talents. We hide relationships. We hide our true dreams. We hide our true selves in a lot of ways, okay? And so today, my goal is to teach, to talk to you about how to stop hiding, okay? We hide a lot, okay, as people. And I'm going to speak about myself. There was a season when I would always be in the house. I lived in a particular city and I was just always in the house. I mean, I would go to the grocery store or something, but that was really my only means of getting out. Um, I never really got out of the house and I always just felt comfortable in the house. And I remember one day I was thinking like, I don't have friends here. I don't have nothing here. And then the Lord reminded me I had family in that city. I had friends in that city. I was just so comfortable with being in the house that I did not allow myself to get out. And what happens to many of us is that we are so comfortable and safe in our own spaces that we created that we don't want to share it or get out with anyone else, right? And that's what was happening with me. I was comfortable in my apartment. I loved my space. I loved how I felt there. But it was also time to get out, okay, and to stop hiding myself from the world, hiding my gifts, hiding my talents, hiding my dreams, okay? Hiding the things about me that make me me, okay? And so today's video is all geared to helping you stop hiding. Because how can you tell God, God, I want more of you, I want more of you, when you even hide parts of yourself with God? When you even hide parts of yourself, the, the ugly parts, the parts where you fall short, the parts where you judge somebody, the parts where you really, you know, be in your feelings, whatever. But like, you got, we have to learn how to stop hiding. And I'm speaking to myself here because when God gave me this word, I had realized um, that some of the ladies that I chat with and also within myself, some of our biggest mountains is that we want to hide, is that we want to hide ourselves. We want to hide our faith walk. We want to hide our dreams. We want to hide our gifts. We want to hide our personality. We want to hide the things that make us us. And I want to tell you today that the Lord is wanting you to transition from always hiding to actually coming out of that cocoon. You know, think about a butterfly. Before it becomes a butterfly, it's in that cocoon. It has to go through metamorphosis. And so, okay, there's a season when God may call you to hide. He may put you in the house. He may put you in a lone season and you're in that cocoon. But eventually, sis, you got to come out of there and you got to get back out and you got to fly and you got to spread your wings. And what is happening to many of us is we have been in the cocoon for so long that this is just where we're comfortable at. Even though we've outgrown the cocoon, we're just comfortable being by ourselves. We like it by ourselves. Even though our heart's desire says, oh, I would love to be in a relationship. Our heart's desire says, oh, I would love to get out and go to try a new coffee shop. Our heart's desire says, oh, I would love to go and have a companion or friends and, and be around people. Our heart's desire says that, but we're so comfortable with hiding within ourselves because this is the only place we feel safe. We're so comfortable with hiding within our home because it's the only place we feel safe that we're not getting ourselves out there. And so now, we are the butterfly that is ready to spread its wings but and outgrown its cocoon, but we're holding on to the cocoon so long. And see, what happens in the cocoon is that you're supposed to go through metamorphosis, which you're supposed to change. You're supposed to go from one state to another. And what happens is when we are alone in our homes all the time or by ourselves all the time, we look up and we haven't changed that much. And when it's time for us to finally spread our wings and say, okay, I'm open to dating. Okay, I'm open to getting out of the house and going out with friends sometimes. I'm open, I'm open to getting lunch. I'm open to going and working out at a gym. I'm open to just getting out of my comfort zone. When we finally get there, it usually takes us quite a while, right? And years have passed. And so today, my goal as a big sis is just to tell you kind of the word the Lord gave me is, you hide your gifts sometimes, you hide your dreams, you hide your talents, you hide the, the, the joys, you hide your blessings, you hide in a, so many, you hide your pains and you hide your struggles and you hide in so many areas. And then when it comes to you finally being with me, you've been hiding for so long that you still don't want to bring me the things that I already know about. 
And so God's like, that's why sometimes our relationships with him feel stale and empty because we've been hiding with to everybody else and we're hiding. And then eventually we get to God and we're still in the kind of hiding state. We're still kind of like hiding with him as well. And I believe the Lord is wanting us to transition from hiding in our cocoons to finally coming out and spreading our wings and stepping into the women that he's called us to be. And so I don't know if you have a particular gift. I don't know if you can sing. I don't know if you can draw a certain way. But I specifically keep hearing over and over that so many of us are hiding our gifts. There's a gift you have. I'm thinking about myself, like for fashion or or for speaking or something that you hide. You have a power. You're a powerful prayer warrior, but you hide that. Oh, you're a powerful minister, but you hide that. Oh, you got a powerful word in you, but you hide that. Oh, you got a powerful um, voice on you, but you hide that. You hide and hide and hide and hide and hide. And hide and what happens is God is like but I'm trying to use you and but I can't when you're always hiding it when you never want to post it when you never want to share it when you never want to proclaim it when you never want to showcase it and you're always hiding it I can't show it to the people because you're wanting to hide and stay safe because in your hiding that's where you feel the safest and the Lord is like but I got you Like you can come out of hiding. I still got you. Even when you're on the stage or when you're in the pulpit or when you're using the gift or when you're showcasing it online, I still got you. You can quit hiding. And I I don't know why specifically God gave me this word, um, but I know that it's like he want in the way he said is he wants us to transition from a hidden state to an open state. And we truly desire that in our heart. Many of us do. But we're just afraid that if I really show you how I move in the faith walk, if I really show you how I'll be praying, if I really show you how I move over here, you might judge me. Oh, if I really show you my gifts, you might tell me it's not good enough. If I really show up that way that I feel called to show up. People might start judging me and, and boxing me in. See, I'm speaking from experience, okay? Like, there's times where I'll be thinking about stuff I want to do, but then I'm like, no, nope, I'm going to get judged. I'm going to get boxed in. People are going to say that I shouldn't post that, you know, whatever. So I, I think of that as well. So don't don't think you you out here by yourself. That's me too, okay? But I just wanted to drop in today to tell you, sis, if no one's ever told you, it's time to stop hiding, It's time to stop hiding from your significant other. It's time to stop hiding from yourself. It's time to stop hiding. There is so much that you've probably hid because that's all you know to do. But now these gifts and these ideas and the things you really want, they're on the other side of you no longer hiding. The the success you want, the prosperity you want is on the other side of you no longer hiding. It's time to let you come out of the cocoon and allow you to shine and you to spread your wings. It's time for you to learn how to fly again. It's time for you to explore and live again. Okay, it's time for you to come out of the bedroom. It's time for you to come off of that couch. It's time for you to get out of that bed And it's time for you to come out of that cocoon that you've stayed in too far for way too long. It's time for you to come out and learn how to fly again. Okay? And how you do that is got to stop hiding. You've got to let the light of God, the light of God, the sun light of God, I'm saying, like, shine on those places that you've wanted to hide. Okay? If it's about your weight, if it's about how you feel about yourself, if it's about finances, if it's about how you do your business, if it's about how you are as a leader, um, if it's about actions and things you do that no one knows about, whatever that is, allow God to shine his light on it because he can handle it. He can handle it. He can handle your scamming ways. He can handle uh, your bad mouth. He can handle um, your double-mindedness. He can handle your anxiety and depression. God can handle it. Trust me, he can. And so I'm just telling you today, it's time to stop hiding. Stop hiding with yourself, but then in that case, stop hiding with God. Give God all that stuff because he can truly handle it. And when you quit hiding that, then the other great things about you, your personality, your gifts, the things you really want to do, it will be so easy to quit hiding those things. There's so much that we hide on a day to day. And I just hear the Lord saying, I want you to transition from hiding in that cocoon to finally coming out and 
flying and being that butterfly. And I believe that this is such a season where so many people are going to learn to fly again. I don't know if you lost somebody. I don't know if you went through a heartbreak or a really bad grief. But many times when something like that in your life happens, something very traumatic, you forget how to fly. Life takes your hope. You get shattered. And I believe this is a season God is calling his daughters back to fly. I believe he's calling you back to fly, that you got to fly again. There were some seasons you were flying, but some things happened and you quit flying. But God is calling you back to flying again. OK, and so I'm telling you today, if you've been the one in the cocoon for a while, it's time to come out. And so there's nothing you have to do. All you have to do is tell the Lord, I'm ready to stop hiding. I'm ready to stop hiding what's inside of me. I'm ready to stop being my biggest critic or I'm not. I'm ready to stop being my biggest hater. I'm ready to just no longer hide the things you placed inside of me. Regardless if people think I'm too much or not enough or whatever, I'm no longer going to hide the light of the Lord that is in me. The gift of the Lord that is in me, the power of the Lord oh, that is in me. I feel like somebody's got to repeat this with me. I am no longer going to hide the gifts that is in me, the power of God that is in me, the faith of God that is in me. I am no longer going to hide. And I want somebody to comment that down below. I am no longer going to hide. OK, because I feel like God is calling so many of us out of that cocoon. And he's saying, you've outgrown this place. It don't even, you don't even want to be this tight in it. You get tired of being in here now. You get tired of being there. God's like, you've outgrown this place. Now let's go. Let's go. Over here. And so you can fly. All right. All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to drop by and encourage you to stop hiding. OK, and I am praying for you. And if you ever need some prayer or any encouragement, um, don't feel free to click the link in the description box. I have just a link where you can go and you can chat with me and get connected and get some prayer. Okay. I love you ladies. I'll see you in my next one.